Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Program Today I Learned. This is another Silt episode. Today we're going to be looking at protected layouts. So having a way to use a layout in order to protect a resource from users who are not signed in. And we can extend this in a lot of different ways, but we'll look at the very basic version in this episode. If you like and subscribe to this kind of type of content, that'd be fantastic. I also have a newsletter and a Patreon, and you can support me. See the links below. Let's go ahead and dig in. So let's take a look. Here's our demo. We have the home page. We have an about page, and you can see it flickered really quick there. And if I try to go to it, it redirects, and it says loading there really quick, and it's redirecting to this test page. Same thing if I go to set user settings, it's going to show loading for a second, and then go redirect to sign in. So we're going to be building that. And if we're signed in, we can go to any of these resources. If we click sign out, it redirects us. So let's go ahead and take a look at each of these things. So within our nav, we'll look at that first. I added this loading equals true, and then loading equals false. And then we're going to use that to just basically hide the um, sign in buttons here, as well as the settings buttons. So when we're doing our initial load, we're not going to show any of these buttons. And that way they don't flicker if you've already signed in. Let's say you're signed in here. You don't want them to say sign in and sign up temporarily. So we're just a little small, small change there. Otherwise that file is the same. About is going to use this protected layout, which we're going to call it in, in components layouts. Look at that in just a second. So layouts here. And it's going to have some content within it. So very, very simple. And then settings is the most changed from the previous, because this was the only protected resource before. So we got rid of all of the on mount logic that used to live here. And now we're importing protected layout. And I'm going to move that down. Keep the app stuff together. So everything that we used to be on mount is now in protected layout. And then the other thing to note is that when we handle the sign out, this is actually in back in nav, did not show that. We want to await the go to and then we will set the user store to an empty. Uh, if we don't await that that can throw an error because we're checking user on certain pages like this page here. We need to make sure that we're fully on the other page before we set the user store. And then within our settings, we have the protected layout just wrapping around the rest of our code here. So protected layout itself is pretty simple. It's just the data and the logic that we extracted out of settings previously and moved into this layout. So we have on mount from Svelte. We have go to from app navigation. And then we're going to go ahead and have our user from our stores. After we mount, we're going to say if we don't have a user, go to the sign in page. Fairly simple. And if we do have a user, have a slot, meaning render everything that is within the protected layout tag, so all of this information. And then same thing with the about. It's just this information. Otherwise, show a little saying that says loading. And we can, of course, make this prettier. Uh, we could do a timeout on this, too, if we wanted it to guaranteed see it, because you know when you see something flicker you know, this fast, it kind of looks a little funky. Uh, to a, a user. You know, unless they do it on a, a full new request. So it's just when it's these little flickers like that, you might want to have it last a little bit longer. That's a UX thing and it's something you can decide for yourself. Um, and that's the simplest way to do this. Now you can do, so this is my own generated layout here, and it's basically just a, a wrapper around using a slot based off of a store value. Some, you know, it's not necessarily the best way to do this, but it is a, a great way to do it. And you can protect entire routes 
too. So if you didn't want to have a separate la uh, layout like this, let's say you have an entire section where everything is sign in, uh, you can go ahead and create just a regular layout file uh, within that subfolder. So if you created a folder here and then create layout and you gave it this same kind of logic, everything within that folder is going to take that uh, layout into effect. So you could do it that way if you'd rather have full sections, if you just have some public. Um, this is a good way to do it if you have a mix and match. So this is for uh, logged out, this is for logged in, this is mix and match. So uh, I haven't found a way to go ahead and mix and match from a layout tag if everything's in the same folder. So this is a very simple way to do that. But again, you can extract this out. There may be a lot of other ways to do this. I found this to be one of the most simple ways and it's very extensible and very easy to do. And it doesn't provide a lot of um, extra cognitive overhead on how things work. So we're gonna continue to build off this application and continue to improve it now that we have some protected resources and way to protect them. Uh, we will continue on. So go ahead and like and subscribe and I thank you guys for watching.